Welcome to episode 3 of our new Cars for 2024 special. We've covered upcoming hatchback sedans and MPVs in episode 1 and upcoming SUVs in episode 2. So do check those videos out. This video is all about electric cars set for launch over the coming year. Before we begin, please ensure you're subscribed to the Autocar India channel and have hit the bell icon to be notified every time we have a new video up. BMW is on a charge with electric vehicles and joining its ever-expanding lineup of EVs will be the new i5 in late 2024. The all-electric derivative of the latest Gen 5 series doesn't look all too different to its combustion engine siblings and that's the same story inside too where the i5 features the same dual screen dominated dash as the standard car. Unlike the 5 series for India though that will come in a new long wheelbase avatar, the i5 could debut in standard wheelbase format. BMW claims the slim 84.3 kWh battery pack under the floor doesn't compromise seating comfort or space as is often the case on EVs. India will likely get the i5 in eDrive 40 form whose single rear motor makes 335 horsepower and 400 Newton meters as standard and offers 430 Newton meters for up to 10 seconds in boost mode. The i5 eDrive 40 has a WLTP range of up to 582 kilometers. Also likely at a later stage is the i5 M60 xDrive whose dual motor setup takes power up to 590 horsepower and peak torque up to 820 Newton meters. 0 to 100 kph time is a supercar rivaling 3.7 seconds. The i5 will launch with the new 5 series in late 2024. Citroen is riding an electric version of the C3 Aircross. The EC3 Aircross, as it'll likely be called, is expected to look much the same as the standard version of the crossover. The differences will be under the skin. Powertrain details are not confirmed as yet, but the version for India could share components with like-sized international electric models. The most likely spec is a 113 horsepower motor with a 44 kWh battery pack. In models sold abroad, this powertrain delivers 320 km on the WLTP cycle with support for 100 kW DC charging. What remains to be seen is if Citroen offers the 3-row 7-seat configuration with the EC3 Aircross. The model will go on sale by late 2024 and prices will be in the region of 20 lakh rupees. China's BYD is set to bring in its SEAL sedan to India. You can think of it as a rival to the BMW i4. The Bonn electric sedan sports a low-slung look, a coupe-like silhouette and clean styling. Inside, it's stylish and futuristic with the look helped by digital dials and a 15.6-inch center screen whose orientation can be changed from portrait to landscape or vice versa at the touch of a button. An all-glass roof is another feature of note. The SEAL was shown at Auto Expo 2023 in dual motor 530 horsepower Avtar. India will however likely get the SEAL in single motor 312 HP form. Its 82.5 kWh battery pack delivers up to 570 km on the WLTP cycle and supports up to 150 kW of DC charging. The BYD SEAL is expected to go on sale in early 2024 and will be launched at around 65 lakh rupees. Hyundai has brought in the Kona Electric and Ionic 5 from its international EV portfolio already and the first of its made-for-India EVs will come in the form of the Creta EV. The model will likely carry distinct styling to help distinguish it from the combustion engine Creta that's itself due for a makeover in 2024. The juicy news is that the Creta EV will sport a 45 kWh battery with an official range likely around 400 km. The motor will be shared with the Kona Electric, so power will be in the region of 130 horsepower. The Creta EV will be revealed at the tail end of 2024 and prices should start at about 23 lakh rupees. Kia will be out with its first made for India EV only in 2025. 2024, however, will see the India arrival of the brand's global electric flagship, the EV9. The EV9 is a large SUV with a clearly defined two-box shape and distinctive block-like styling. In size, it's actually marginally larger than the luxury electric SUVs from BMW, Audi and Mercedes. The EV9 uses its size to good effect with three rows of seating. A unique option is swivel chairs for the middle row, allowing second and third row occupants to sit face to face. The cabin is minimalist with a floating look for the dashboard and wide screens for the instruments and infotainment systems. The EV9 is based on the Hyundai Group's cutting-edge eGMP platform and powering the large SUV is a 99.8 kWh battery pack. 
Single motor versions produce 200 horsepower and deliver a WLTP range of 563 kilometers. However, Kia will unlikely hold back for its flagship SUV in India and will most likely get in the dual motor version with 380 horsepower and 512 kilometers of range on the WLTP cycle. The EV9 will undoubtedly be the priciest Kia model in India, with pricing expected to be around the 90 lakh rupee mark when it goes on sale in mid 2024. Mahindra has big EV plans and the first of its new EVs will come in the form of the XUV E8. The E8 can be thought of as the electric version of the XUV 700. Styling will be sharpened up with a redone front end, more flamboyant lighting front and rear and different wheels too. Updates inside will include a full width curved display on the dashboard that integrates the digital dials, infotainment screen and a front passenger side display. Now while it will have much in common with the XUV 700 we are familiar with, the XUV E8 will be very different under the skin. For one, it will be built on Mahindra's cutting-edge in-glow EV architecture. The platform supports 60 kWh and 80 kWh battery sizes and it's the larger of the two that will likely make it on the XUV E8. The target WLTP range is 450 km. There'll be single motor options going forward, but a 340 horsepower dual motor arrangement is what the E8 is expected to debut with. Expect pricing in the region of 35 lakh rupees when the XUV E8 goes on sale in mid 2024. Maruti has been absent from the EV race, but things change in 2024 with the arrival of its first electric model, the EVX. The 4.3 meter long mid sized SUV will be built on an electric skateboard platform, and in look 2, it will be a departure from other Suzuki models if the concept is anything to go by. An upright front end, chunky wheel arches, and a high set deck at the back with full width tail lamps are elements likely to be carried on to production. The concept's interior hints at a minimalist look for the dash, dual screens, and a general airy feeling inside. A 2700mm wheelbase promises good space at the back as well. The EVX will be offered with two battery options. There will be a 48 kWh option with about 400 km of range on the WLTP cycle and there will also be a larger 60 kWh option with about 500 km on the WLTP cycle. Powertrain options will include a single 138 horsepower motor while a 170 horsepower dual motor all-wheel drive arrangement will also be offered. Prices will start at about 18 lakh rupees X showroom but could go up by a big margin higher up the range. The production spec EVX will debut in late 2024 and will be followed by a Toyota version. If you're looking for an ultra-luxury electric vehicle, Mercedes would like to interest you in the Maybach EQS SUV that comes to India next year. It's based on the EQS SUV and is the first Maybach variant of an EV. The basic rounded design of the SUV is retained but a Maybach specific closed grille with vertical chrome inserts, a three-pointed star on the bonnet, Maybach logos on the D-pillars and unique wheel designs will give it the requisite flash value. Dual tone colours will also be an option. Inside you'll find Merck's hyperscreen up front though the seats to be on will be the ones at the back. The individual chairs get reclinable backrest and leg extensions and also feature ventilation, heating and massage. A rear seat entertainment package brings in 11.6 inch screens for the occupants at the back. Enhanced noise insulation also promises amongst the quietest automotive experiences. The Maybach EQS SUV comes in 680 guys that gets a 649 horsepower dual motor setup and a 108 kilowatt hour battery pack with a WLTP range of 600 kilometers. The price tag? Around 3 crore rupees. The new gen Mini is out and it's coming to India in all electric avatar. The design is classic Mini with rounded details outside and in. The dashboard gives pride of place to a round screen that doubles as the instruments display as well as the infotainment unit. India will likely get the Cooper E which features a 184 horsepower electric motor that draws power from a 40.7 kWh battery pack capable of delivering 305 km of range on the WLTP cycle. There's also a more powerful Cooper SE that gets a 218 horsepower electric motor and a larger 54.2 kWh battery pack. The Mini will come to India as a full import and like the outgoing model will be expensive with prices likely to start at about 58 lakh rupees.
The third gen Mini Countryman is coming to India and in addition to the petrol power train, there will also be an all-electric option. The crossover will likely be offered in the same spec as its cousin from BMW, the iX1. So you can expect a 313 horsepower electric motor and all-wheel drive arrangement with a 66.45 kWh battery pack. Range is a WLTP tested 433 km. The latest Countryman is significantly larger than the model it replaces and styling is a more angular interpretation of the classic mini look. The interior is also very mini yet very modern with a large round screen at the center of the dash playing dials and also your screen for the infotainment system. Pricing for the all-electric Countryman should be in the region of 70 lakh rupees. The Porsche Macan will go all electric in its second generation. The model is in the final stages of testing and will be revealed in early 2024. Bookings for India will open along with other markets. Porsche hasn't revealed final specifications as yet, but what's known is that there'll be a single motor rear wheel drive version as well as dual motor all wheel drive versions with upwards of 600 horsepower. All Macans will feature a near 100 kilowatt hour battery pack with a WLTP range in the region of 500 km. Porsche's teaser videos showing the model testing suggest sharper styling all around with a coupe-esque roof at the back. The interior is expected to be similar to the latest Cayenne's. Pricing will likely start at about 1.1 crore rupees. The Enyaq IV will be Skoda's first electric model in India. It's based on the Volkswagen Group's MEB platform and it looks large because it is. It's just marginally shorter than the Skoda Kodiak we are familiar with. Styling is crisp like other new age Skodas, though the basic stance is more crossover than upright SUV. The interior is airy and tech loaded with features such as a 13 inch touchscreen and digital dials. Rear seat space will be a highlight. Skoda has been testing the Enyaq IV in India in 80X form, which gets front and rear motors with a combined output of 265 horsepower. An 82 kilowatt hour battery under the floor helps deliver a WLTP range of 460 km. The Enyaq IV will be the priciest Skoda to go on sale with an estimated starting price of 55 lakh rupees. The Tata Curve will be one of the most exciting launches of 2024 and the big news is it'll launch in electric form with the petrol version following later. The mid-size model will stand out for its SUV coupe design and sharp styling and the interior too promises to be big on wow factor. Tata's Curve concept suggests a floating dashboard and a minimalist look for the EV's interior. The Curve EV will boast all of Tata's latest tech such as digital dials, a 12.3-inch touchscreen, a 360-degree camera and more. Space at the back and the impact of the curved roof on rear headroom remains to be seen. Tata hasn't released specifications for the curved EV as yet, but it'll likely debut with the 40.5 kWh battery pack that does duty on the long-range Nexon EV. Expect an official range figure upwards of 400 km. A 145 horsepower electric motor also shared with the Nexon is likely. The curved EV comes in mid-2024 with prices upwards of 20 lakh rupees. The Tata Harrier is fresh from a facelift and joining the lineup in late 2024 will be a new electric version of the SUV. The Harrier EV will be based on a heavily re-engineered version of the platform and will get elements such as a flat floor. Tata Motors revealed the Harrier EV concept at Auto Expo 2023 and the production version will carry the same look as the show car. Points of difference to the Harrier diesel are its bumpers and wheels. Inside, you can expect different colors to distinguish its cabin from the facelifted Harrier diesels. Tata Motors has confirmed a dual-motor setup that will bring much-wanted all-wheel drive capability to the Harrier. There are no power figures as yet and battery capacity is also not known. However, sources say the Harrier EV will have an official range between 450 to 500 km. Pricing won't be too far off the fully loaded diesels and is expected to be in the region of 30 lakh rupees. The Tata Punch has been a huge hit since launch and a soon-to-be-launched electric derivative could help add greatly to the sales tally. The Punch EV has been spotted testing repeatedly and could debut with added features like LED headlights, a sunroof and a larger infotainment system. Again, Tata Motors has been tight-lipped about specifications, but we expect the Punch EV to share the long-range Tiago EV's 24kWh battery pack and 75 horsepower electric motor. Official range will be in the region of 300 kilometers. 
The Tata Punch EV comes in early 2024 and is expected to cost 13 lakh rupees. Volvo is committed to an all-electric future and the EX90 is effectively a new-gen all-electric XC90. The 5-meter-plus SUV's design is neat, clean and typical Volvo and the absence of a front grille is the only bit that tells you this is an all-electric model. The interior is soothing and minimalist with all functions bundled into a 14.5-inch touchscreen. Like the XC90, the EX90 offers three rows of seating. The EX90 is offered in two dual-motor all-wheel drive versions with 407 horsepower and 515 horsepower. The source of power on all versions of the EX90 is a 111 kilowatt hour battery pack that delivers up to 585 kilometers on the WLTP cycle. EX90 production will commence in early 2024 and the model will come to India soon after. If Volvo's keen pricing for the XC40 Recharge and C40 electric models is anything to go by, the EX90 could undercut its German rivals by some margin. The Volkswagen ID4 is sister model to the Skoda Enyaq IV covered earlier in the video. The ID4 is built on the Volkswagen Group's electric MEV platform and makes the most of the flexibility an all electric platform allows. The silhouette is dictated by the large wheelbase, though the stance is, again, more swoopy crossover than upright SUV. The interior is very modern with a 12-inch freestanding touchscreen and small digital dial interface behind the steering, and the layout clearly emphasizes space. The cabin is airy and rear seat room could be a draw in its own right. India will likely get the ID4 in GTX form that features a dual-motor arrangement with a combined 299 horsepower, enabling a 0 to 100 kph time of just 6.2 seconds. The motors will draw power from a 77 kWh battery pack that is rated with a WLTP range of 480 km. The Volkswagen ID4 will come to India as an import and hence will be pricey. Expect a starting price of 55 lakh rupees. And that's all the electric cars coming to India next year. Which are the models you're most interested in? Let us know in the comment section below and keep watching Autocar India for the latest automotive content.